Have you ever come across old portrait photos that have faded over time? In today's video, I'll show you how to restore and even add color back to those precious memories using Dreamina AI. Be sure to watch until the end. This is the photo I want to restore today. It's a relatively clear image of a middle-aged man, but let's see how Dreamina AI can enhance it further. To get started, simply open your browser and type Dreamina AI into the search bar. You'll see the official website appear right at the top. Let's click on it to begin the process of restoring our photos. This is the Vietnamese interface, but to make it easier for you to follow along, I'll switch to the English version. In the previous video, I showed you how to use this AI. If you're not familiar with it, be sure to check out that video. Today, we'll focus only on the restoration process. And now we'll click on the text image to image feature. The interface is simple. On the left, you can add a description and select your reference image. The results will appear on the right. Now click reference to upload the photo you want to restore. This is the reference image I just uploaded. Now, we can select what the AI should focus on, like the face, style, or depth. I'll choose human face, so the AI can focus on restoring the face accurately. After selecting save, we click on reference again and choose the next photo we want to restore. This time, instead of choosing the face, we'll select depth, so the AI can restore the photo's depth, making the details clearer and more vibrant. Now let's adjust the aspect ratio to fit the uploaded image. Check same as reference image to ensure the correct aspect ratio. And now you can restore and colorize the image by typing a prompt. For example, you could type black t-shirt blue background to add color details to the image. Next, we'll choose the appropriate AI model. If you see the message can't reference depth with this model, switch to another model like Dreamina XL Pro for better results. Next, we can adjust the quality level by sliding the quality bar. I'll set it to 10 for the best quality. Finally, after adjusting everything, we click the Generate button to start the restoration and colorization process. This will cost 10 credits. The AI is processing just a moment. And here's the result after the AI has restored and colorized the image. The fourth image seems to resemble the original the most. But when looking closely, I feel the face in the original image is slightly larger and the hairstyle is a bit different. So I'll make a few adjustments to better match the original image. Here, I'll adjust the reference strength using the strength slider to ensure the AI restores the face more accurately. The higher the strength setting, the closer the result will be to the original image. Now, I'll try setting it to the maximum at 100 to see the outcome. Now, I'll click Generate again to see the results after making the adjustments. And here are the results after setting the strength to 100. The face and hair are nearly 99% identical, but the t-shirt and background don't match the prompt as they resemble the original image too closely. Now we'll lower the strength to 90 and try again to see if it improves. It still didn't work as expected, so now I'll try again with the strength set to 60 to see if it makes a difference. At strength 60, we were able to adjust the colors freely, matching the original prompt. The results show that high strength restores details well, but limits color customization, while lower levels allow for easier color adjustments. Finding the right strength balance helps you achieve the best results. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you've learned how to restore and customize the colors of old photos easily with Dreamina AI. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you found this video helpful. See you in the next one.